Hi. This video will briefly describe the key safety points for working with heavy equipment and crane safety operation. 7 Ways to Prevent Heavy Equipment Accidents Machine accidents can happen when you least expect it. Here are 7 ways that operators can avoid an accident and stay safety-minded. First, pre-operational walk-around to look for any faulty and report to the proper person. Second, safely mount and dismount the machine using three points of contact. Third, always wear your seatbelt. Fourth, always be aware of the machine's load limits. Fifth, never operate the machine when you are overly fatigued. Sixth, all heavy equipment has areas of restricted visibility called blind spots. 7th. Communicate effectively. First, inspect machine before use. Second, competent operator. A competent and trained operator is very important. Please ensure that the operator obtain the valid license for operating the heavy equipment. Third, avoid blind spots. Avoid blind spots. Avoid equipment misuse. Fifth, use proper PPE. Other important safety points when working with heavy equipment. Communication. Supervision. No entry. Worksite. Maintenance. Banksman. Load limit. Training. Crane operation safety. Fully extend the outriggers. First, Always extend the outriggers fully, even if the crane is rated for operation with the outriggers at middle or minimum extension. Second, before mounting the jib, outrigger must be extended fully. Third, the outriggers must be secured with lock pins if available. Fourth, the crane may become unstable if the outriggers are not extend correctly. Fifth, all tires must be clear of the ground. Use steel plate and set the crane on firm level ground. First, the machine should not be located on soft ground, which can lead to sinking, sliding, overturning, nor on the edge of a pit, bank or slope. Second, use steel plates of sufficient strength and size. Important lifting safety control. Only competent crane operator and competent or trained crane helper are allowed to handle the crane. Restrict unauthorized persons within operation radius. Use suitable steel plate and set the crane on firm level ground. Always extend the outriggers fully. Follow operational guidelines for mobile crane inspection. Aware of the hazard and consider all possible risks. Conduct pre-work briefing. Follow lifting plan. Apply permit to work. Wire rope. Wire ropes is manufactured from number of single wires, which is twisted together to form a strand. To make up wire rope, the strand themselves are then twisted round core of fiber or steel. The safe working load, SWL, of a wire rope is determined from its guaranteed breaking load. In all cases, manufacturer own recommended SWL should be strictly followed. Two main groups of wire rope. Internal wire rope where the heart, middle strand, of the rope is made of wire rope. Fiber core, where the heart, middle strand, of the rope is made of a fiber rope. 
criteria of wire rope. Wire rope. Strand. Center wire. Wire. Core. Common damages for wire rope. Kinky. Dog legs. Bird caging. Severe wear. Broken wire. Corrosion. Chains. Daily or before each shift, inspections shall be conducted by a competent person designated by the employer. Periodic inspection. OSHA specifies that all alloy steel chain slings shall have a thorough periodic inspection by a competent person at least once every 12 months. These inspections must be recorded and maintained for each individual sling. The inspection schedule should be based on frequency of sling use, severity of service conditions, nature of lifts being made, experience gained on service life of slings used in similar circumstances. Synthetic sling. Web slings are a type of synthetic lifting sling that are typically made from either nylon or polyester webbing material. They're strong enough to support heavy loads, yet are extremely versatile and can be used effectively for a variety of different applications. Each synthetic web sling shall be marked by the manufacturer to include name or trademark of the manufacturer, or if repaired, the entity performing the repair. Manufacturer's code or stock number. Rated load for at least one hitch type and the angle at which it is based. Type of synthetic web material. It is the responsibility of the user to maintain the sling identification, ensuring the tag or identification is still in place and is still legible during the life of the sling. If the identification tag is missing or illegible, it is the responsibility of the inspector to remove the sling from service. Common damages for synthetic sling. Chemical damage. Heat damage. Holes, cuts, tears. Broken or worn stitches. Wear or abrasion. Knots. UV damage. Damaged fittings. Tower crane blind spots. Please consider for the blind space when obstruction exists in any construction site. The importance of competent signalman. These are standard signal signs associated with crane operation. Crane operator and signalman must be well trained in this. Emergency Preparedness and Response This end of short training on heavy equipment safety and accident prevention. Please stay safe working with heavy equipment always.